In a shocking development, a U.S. soldier is currently held captive in North Korea after crossing the border without authorization. The incident unfolds amidst heightened tensions with the isolated nation, leaving the fate of the soldier uncertain and raising concerns about the potential diplomatic implications. Stay tuned as we delve into the details of this gripping story. Welcome to Slant News. If you want to support, you can subscribe to our channel. A US soldier is currently in custody in North Korea after crossing the border from South Korea without authorization, according to confirmation from the US military. This incident comes at a time of heightened tension with North Korea, a nation known for its isolation from the rest of the world. The US government has long advised its citizens against traveling to North Korea due to the risks involved. In this article, we will explore the details known thus far about the border crossing incident. The soldier in question is Private Second Class, PV2, Travis King, a 23-year-old individual who crossed from South Korea into North Korea while participating in a demilitarized zone, DMZ, border tour. At the time of the incident, PV2 King was being escorted back to the US to face disciplinary action. However, instead of boarding a flight at Incheon Airport, he managed to elude his escort at customs. He proceeded to make his way to the border crossing, approximately 54 kilometers, 34 miles, away. An eyewitness on the same border tour reported hearing the soldier laughing loudly before making his escape. The United Nations command, responsible for operating the DMZ, believes that the soldier is now in North Korean custody. The incident is currently under investigation by U.S. forces Korea, with no contact established between them and the soldier. PV-2 King has been serving in the Army since January 2021 and holds the position of a cavalry scout, specializing in reconnaissance. Initially assigned to an element of the Army's 1st Armored Division on a rotation with the U.S. military in South Korea, he was facing disciplinary action due to assault charges. Recently, he had been released to Camp Humphreys, an army base in South Korea, for outprocessing. It was intended for him to travel to Fort Bliss in Texas, where he would undergo administrative separation from the army. A defense official confirmed that the soldier intentionally crossed the border, suggesting that his actions were premeditated. The pre-planned nature of PV-2 King's move becomes apparent when considering the typical process for participating in border tours. Jacko Zwetslut, host of the North Korea podcast and former tour company employee, explains that it usually takes three days to obtain authorization for such trips. Prospective participants must submit their passport number and military ID to the UN command responsible for the area. Additionally, since the pandemic, obtaining tour bookings has become more challenging, with only two companies currently offering tours to foreigners. This indicates that PV2 King's border crossing would have required significant research and planning. The situation surrounding the detained soldier poses a significant challenge for the United States, as tensions on the Korean peninsula have escalated recently, drawing increased attention from President Joe Biden's administration. Coinciding with the soldier's crossing, a U.S. nuclear missile submarine arrived in the South Korean port of Busan, serving as a visible display of U.S. military strength. This move, in response to North Korea's numerous missile tests, further heightened tensions between the two nations. The soldier's capture could potentially be utilized by North Korea as leverage in future negotiations with the U.S. Over the years, there have been multiple instances of U.S. citizens being detained in North Korea, including tourists, scholars, and journalists, dating back to 1996. In response to the risks associated with travel to North Korea, the U.S. government imposed a ban on U.S. citizens visiting the country in July 2017, which has been extended multiple times and is currently in place until at least August of this year. Detained Americans in North Korean prisons have historically endured harsh treatment. In 2018, Otto Warmbier, an American college student imprisoned for stealing a hotel sign, was released by North Korea but returned to the U.S. in a coma and later died. The situation involving PV2 Travis King, the U.S. soldier detained after crossing the border from South Korea into North Korea without authorization, raises significant concerns. As tensions between the U.S. and North Korea continue to escalate, the details surrounding the incident and the fate of the soldier remain uncertain. The U.S. government faces a challenging situation, given North Korea's history of harsh treatment towards detained Americans. The incident serves as a reminder of the risks associated with traveling to North Korea 
and the potential consequences of unauthorized border crossings. Efforts to resolve the situation and secure the soldiers' safe return will require delicate negotiations and diplomatic measures. Here we wrap up the news on this topic. And be sure to subscribe to our channel.